So, where were we? <laughs> that is something that will happen many times. You talk and talk and suddenly you remember, wait a minute, we started with something that was actually quite fascinating. And you can turn around and ask, what were we? It's never going to be boring. But what you have to be aware of is that uh, you are both ADHD, meaning you're both forgetful. You will start conversations. You will uh, not finish those conversations because meanwhile, while you say something, he already has something else on his mind. And it's going to be funny discussions, really. I've had that where uh, one of my best friends is ADHD too. Now, we're both old timers, so uh, I mean, he's 78 and I'm 72. So when he starts talking, I just let him talk. And uh, well, nothing is going to happen because after about two sentences, He's forgotten what he was talking about and talks about something completely different. This guy is hyper, hyper, hyper intelligent. One moment we can talk about UFOs and the next year uh, we can talk about help to die and uh, it's Trump on its way. So this goes on when we're walking down, for instance, along the Paseo Maritimo, which is seven kilometers, and he's pushing me those seven kilometers and talking all the time. And if you filled a newspaper with all the things he's telling me, it would be a big one and interesting, really interesting. So where were we? <laughs> that is something that will happen many times. You talk and talk and suddenly you remember, wait a minute, we started with something that was actually quite fascinating. And you can turn around and ask, where were we? It happens to us. We are never boring. We're always exciting. Uh, because we always have new ideas again and again and again. You will have a lot of ideas. He will have a lot of ideas. What you have to have is the tolerance. Respecting each other. Because another thing is that we ADHD love to be the center of what is happening. And darling, if you want to be the sender and he wants to be the sender, I suggest you produce a kid and this kid can become the sender because you two, it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun and energetic, but it's also many, many times on the edge where it can result in a big row. Make up your minds how to react. That, for instance, as we do at home, if something happens, I just get up, take my wheelchair, roll out. And uh, just sit out there, read a little bit, no problems. And when I feel that I've calmed down, I just roll in again. Uh, and my wife more or less does the same even though she's not ADHD. But uh, she knows me so well, so she knows when he is like that, he won't do anything bad. He won't harm me or anybody. He won't get angry. Just leave him in peace. And when both of you are ADHD, leave each other in peace. Give each other the freedom. It's very, very important because we have the need of be having freedom. Very much freedom. And we must be able to trust each other. Don't come with stuff that can be wrongly interpreted. It's meaningless because we are so disappointed, we get so sad and burned out more or less. So just when the two of you are together, show each other as often as possible how much you mean to each other. We have this need of touching, of cuddling, also of making love. 
not just once, but maybe quite a few times during the week. And uh, uh, we feel rejected very easy. It's just we're building on everything. We're so hypersensitive. Think about that, my dear friend, and then good, good, good luck.